Alright, today we take a look at a game called Life Goes On. This is a puzzle platformer that uh, is a little bit unique in its uh, dynamic. So let's go ahead and take a look at it by starting a new game here. And that is the Holy Grail. And we, <laughs> we're going to have to get it, but we've already died. Oh man, we just came out of that chute and we have fallen into these spikes. So we're going to have to hit the jump key to spawn in a new knight to come take over. Uh, here we go. Oh look, he's able to stand on the dead body of his fallen comrade. Alright, great. So now, uh, we can move on over here and make this jump this way. Oh, he didn't make it. So, now we uh, hit that checkpoint, so we're going to respawn there. And this time when we jump, we... Oh, looks like we missed our jump again. Well, let's try it with this guy. Ah, uh, there we go. By using the uh, dead bodies of our fallen comrades, we are able to pass the level. So that's uh, basically the mechanic of this game, is that um, we're going to be throwing these knights in there like cannon fodder. Uh, and they're going to build uh, bridges um, in a very morbid fashion. But um, I kind of like it. So let's go over here. Let's uh, step on this button. That's going to open up that drawbridge. We're going to hit this checkpoint here. And uh, when we step on this button, it opens up that door. And, oh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make it through there. Hmm. So what can we do to keep this button permanently pressed down? Well, there's a saw blade up here. What if we uh, just suicide ourselves so that our corpse falls onto the button and uh, that'll hold the, the button down for us. Okay, and we can just run through and grab the grail. Well, um, can't argue with uh, the results. I, mean, I might not personally want to be one of the men on the front line of this army, but uh, it does. it is effective. So let's go ahead and uh, hit this button. It opens up that door. Oh, maybe not. Well, this is going to be another case of uh, sacrificing oneself for the glory of the grail. So let's jump into this saw blade and the conveyor belt will take us on over and drop us down to the button. Okay, excuse me. And we'll just come over here, hit this checkpoint. And then, um, it looks like a lot of fire is coming out of there, so let's jump up here, climb on over. Okay, this button looks like it disables that uh, flamethrower down there. And this button over here disables that flamethrower on the left. You can see the grail is uh, behind that. So how are we going to get through this? I mean, we can't keep this button held down. And we can't uh, go back over to the left because we will disintegrate if we get uh, into that fire. So... You know, might say what we could do is just kill ourselves like this, and then this corpse would flow along the conveyor belt. But, uh, no, that's not going to work. So how are we going to push that button on the other side? Well, uh, we're going to have to take a one-two approach. So let's, uh, with this one knight, smash ourselves and die, and then with this guy, come over here and jump on the button just in time to extinguish the flame so that this guy is able to, uh, roll on down to that button and stop the flamethrower on the left so that uh, we can grab the grail for ourselves. All right. That uh, is going to work, and we can see the pile of corpses. Oh, not depressing. So, uh, apparently the par for this was dying only twice, and we died four times. But that's okay. Okay, there's another grail. Maybe these things aren't so rare that we need to be sacrificing ourselves for them. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of them around. Oh! Okay, now we're in this big cannon, and uh, we got this guide showing where we're going to fly out of. And you can see there's the button on the right-hand side, so if we were to uh, ricochet ourselves off of this wall... Ooh, I think he broke his neck there. Uh, that's going to hit that button and open up this pathway on the right-hand side. So we can move on through here and hit this checkpoint. So we will respawn from there from now on and uh, jump over here and the grail is in the top right corner it's a little bit off screen I don't know if you can see it right now but uh, we got this swinging pendulum that you can't uh, jump high enough to reach it looks like there's another pendulum here on the left uh, that's not swinging so if we were to uh, use one of our brave brave soldiers to uh, you know get this pendulum moving maybe with his uh, spine or something. Oh, there we go. 
So now that that's swinging back and forth, okay, we can use that to our advantage. So let's hop on here, ride it across to this other side, hit this uh, checkpoint. We can uh, jump onto this pendulum. Oh, missed it. All right, so let's go back and climb on up the other side. All right, we got this checkpoint hit now, and then we're going to get on here, get over to here, hit this checkpoint, and then we gotta hop on here, so let's do that. Oh, this isn't going up nearly high enough. It's gonna need some more momentum on it. So let's uh, load ourselves into this cannon and bravely shoot ourselves into the pendulum so that that starts rocking much higher. I didn't even see where our corpse landed after that uh, impact, but that's okay. We got a new knight. We're ready to go. Okay, here we go. All the way across. And climb up. Grab that grail. Excellent. So we are doing very well. Um, how many knights died that time? Okay, three. Which is the par time. Or par amount of soldiers you would need to expend if you wanted to get a shiny piece of... Uh, jewelry to drink out of. Okay, so what are we going to try to do here? Let's hop on this. There's this uh, spike platform. Let's... Oh. <laughs> okay. And then uh, let's hit this button and get that spike platform moving to the other side. Looks like uh, every time we hit the button it moves a little bit. So let's get over. Hit. Oh. I hit the button to move over, but... Uh, ended up falling onto uh, the spikes myself. So let's try this again with a couple of guys down there. Yeah, that's that's nice and easy. And we can uh, use this platform on this side to jump over here. All right. I don't know what that is in the bottom right corner. A little fuzzy thing. Maybe he's the one that hides all the grails. But let's let's climb on up to the top here and hit this checkpoint. Oh, look at this contraption. So, um, looks like a spiky conveyor belt, and if we hit this button, it uh, turns on this flamethrower that's going to pan back and forth. Uh, if we hit the button again, it's going to turn off that flamethrower and turn on the one on the right. So you might say something like, well, you probably just drop your knight on in here, and then get the next knight going. Oh, but he's already disintegrated in that fire. So we're not able to use him to uh, jump on. But when we hit the switch, the uh, conveyor belt stops. So what if we wait for that fire to go away and then just drop in here at the edge and then spawn a new knight and then have him come over and then quickly before the fire starts up, we jump, we get on him and make it across. All right. That's going to work great for us. So, uh, got an A-plus on that level. Uh, looks like death's four out of four. Okay. Now, how are we going to complete this one? If we just walk into that fire, we're toast. But if we hit that checkpoint, um, then we'll be able to respawn whenever we want, like when it's on the other side of that fire. Okay. So then let's uh, hit this here and move on up. Well, you're not going to get very high with one knight, but maybe you got two. Oh, oh. Climb up their dead bodies through those spikes. All right, so we can just basically get through any obstacle if we just uh, throw enough knights at it. So what if we hit this checkpoint? Um, I like how we have this pink ribbon that shows uh, the flow of power or whatever. So we can see that this button over here is going to control that flame. So let's hit that and then we will avoid these spinning obstacles and move back over here now if we walk into this fire uh, we will die but we will spawn on this other side because of the checkpoint so let's hit that hop into this cannon and looks like there's a button up here and so let's let's uh, bounce our knight off of this I, I, I do believe I heard his neck break there. And then we got this thing going uh, on the right hand side. It's a moving checkpoint. So if we are able to hit the checkpoint, then 
Uh, I think we should be able to respawn. Okay, we got the checkpoint lit. And if we respawn now, uh, we should be able to grab our grail. Okay, I don't know why we need so many grails. Uh, we must be having a dinner party later and we'll have a lot of fancy glasses for the event. Something like that. So, six out of six deaths. Not bad. And we will move on to this next level. This is actually the final level of the demo. Uh, and it's actually my favorite level. Um, I recommend you guys go play this for yourselves. If you, I don't want to spoil the last level, but I will, because some people won't go play it no matter what I say. This is free for you to play. It's available on Windows, Mac, uh, Linux. It's made in Unity, so it's available on all those platforms. I really love Unity as a developer myself. Um, but you can uh, even use the web player for Unity. So all you got to do is go to the link in the description of this video, and you can play this game without even having to install anything or download anything. It'll just start playing right away in your browser. So without further ado, here is the final level. Um, let's try this out. Let's grab the grail. Oh, we got crushed. So let's go ahead and grab the grail with our next night like we... Oh, jeez. Okay, so let's uh, just move over here and jump to this side. Oh, no, the whole grail got crushed that time. Well, let's get on up with this... Uh, this thing over here, you can see all the credits, all the people who worked on the game. Uh, let's just spawn right there and see what we have over here. Oh, whoa, keep moving, run! <laughs> oh no. We have become a ghost. Well, there you go. That is the demo of Life Goes On. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Ow. That's a demo of Life Goes On. You can see here at the end you can uh, fill out this information so that they will be able to contact you when the full version is available. I recommend you tr try playing the demo. You saw me beat it, but that's only one way to beat it. There are other ways to solve the puzzles if you're creative. I uh, hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed the video you just watched, and you should know that I have many more just like it here on my channel. I highlight games that follow the five eyes. Indie, innovative, intelligent, inexpensive, and insanely fun. Subscribe now to have a source for finding great games.